Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Oh my word! Today I am bringing to you another paper crafting DIY and this one I am so stinking excited about because typically when I bring you a paper crafting DIY, it is a DIY that is not mine. It is one that I found on Pinterest that I really liked. I've created it myself and I've brought it to you showing you just how easy it is to create it because they're fun, they're easy, and the outcomes are amazing. But today's paper crafting DIY is 100% my design. I absolutely love this and I came up with this after, hold on, after I made this tea bag holder. This is a gift holder. If you haven't seen this DIY, I'll link it down below. And when you open it up, it's got five pouches that hold tea bags, individual tea bags inside the pouches. And so I thought that this was a really fun DIY, but after I made this, I started thinking like, hey, I bet I could make a tea bag dispenser. And so I started working with it and let me just show you, oh my word. This is the prototype. I was using scrapbooking paper that I didn't really much care for and just to kind of work with it to get the measurements down, to get the size down. And so this is what I came up with for my prototype for a tea bag dispenser. And so in doing that, I had a couple of different caps because they weren't quite fitting the way I wanted them to. And I didn't have the measurements down and I actually ran out of this paper. So that's why you see the pink cardstock. but I ended up getting it down and I am super happy with this dispenser. And this is the stinking adorable dispenser that I came up with and it dispenses the tea bags. How stinking cute is that? And these are Dollar Tree tea bags, by the way. Dollar Tree's tea is amazing. They've got a great selection. And I showed you this in my last video. These are the teas that I pick up from the Dollar Tree that I like to drink. The peppermint, the apple cranberry, vanilla chai, and chamomile. And so since I had so many tea bags on hand, I thought that I would do some paper crafting DIYs using them. Anyway, I can't wait to show you just how easy this tea bag dispenser is. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let's do some paper crafting. Alrighty, so getting started with today's paper crafting tea box holder DIY. I am so excited about this one because it is so easy. I am using the meant to be paper pack that I used for the tea bag holders, the little gift envelope holders. And it is this paper pack here that I picked up at Michael's right after Christmas. This is a paper pack that they carry all the time. You can get them anywhere from four to six dollars depending on the sale. There's 24 different designs, 48 sheets in this pack. And this is a thicker, heavier duty cardstock. It's not a real thin scrapbooking paper, which is what I love. And it makes it perfect for a DIY such as this one today. You can easily do this paper crafting DIY using one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. And that would be more than enough. I decided I kind of wanted to mix and match and coordinate my patterns from the paper pack. So I'm using two different papers. For the box itself, you're gonna wanna cut two pieces that measure out at six and a half inches by six inches. With that same paper, if you're gonna do the DIY using two different uh, paper patterns, with the same paper that you're doing the box out of, you're also gonna wanna cut one piece that measures out at four and three quarters by five and a quarter. If you're using a different pattern paper for the top, the cover, you're gonna need a second piece that measures out at the same size as the base here. And again, this is four and three quarters by five and a quarter. So you need two pieces that measure out at that one the same as the box and the top is a different, or you can just do it all the same. Today to score this, I'm gonna be using my paper cutter because my scoring board doesn't have 
a spot for me to score at 15 sixteenths of an inch, which is one line before the one inch. And so I need that measurement for the base and the cover. So we're gonna start off with the two pieces that measure out at six and a half inches by six inches. And on the six and a half inch side, which is the longer side, we're gonna score at a half inch. If you have a cutter, it works great as a scoring tool as well. Just lift up your bar and use a pen cap or a credit card to use it to score. So like I said, we're gonna score at a half inch, then again at three and three quarters of an inch. And we're gonna do that to both pieces that measure out at six and a half by six inches. So again, at a half inch, and then at three and three quarters of an inch. And since we've got the scoring blade out, I'm gonna go ahead and take our two smaller pieces. This is the top, this is the base. And again, these measure out at four and three quarters by five and a quarter inches. And we are going to score this at 15 sixteenths of an inch on all four sides. So again, that is one line before one inch, that small line there. So we're gonna go ahead and score it. Then we're gonna rotate it, line it up to that line again. Go ahead and score it again. Rotate it, line it up there again. rotate it, and this is the last side for this one, and score it. And so with the second piece, we're gonna score it the same way on all four sides at 15 sixteenths of an inch. Now let's put this together. It is super easy to do. So on the larger six and a half by six inch pieces, we're gonna go ahead and fold in all of our scoring lines, which should only be two per paper. Then taking some tape adhesive, this is a double-sided adhesive tape from the Dollar Tree. You can also use a Lean's Tacky Glue. I suggest using either the clear gel or the gold. On the little flap, this half inch flap here, we're gonna go ahead and place some adhesive as close to the fold as we can get it. We're gonna do that on both pieces here. Go ahead and remove the paper. Where this flap is, we're gonna take our other six and a half inch piece, not on the side with the flap, and we're gonna attach it here. And we're gonna rotate it, fold this over, Remove the paper, fold this up and over, and close it up there. And there we've just made a box. On one of the bottom edges, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna take my scissors and just kind of snip in about a half an inch right where the crease and the fold is on each side, just like so. Then I'm gonna take and just gently fold this piece back and crease it. So you're left with this. And then the inside, you'll see the flap there. We're gonna pull this flap out, place a little bit of adhesive tape on the inside there. And 
and then I'm just gonna fold it back just like so. And again, you should be left with that. Now for the base, this is the base here because it is matching the box itself. You've got a longer side and then you've got this smaller side. This is the six and a half inch side and the six inch side. On one of the six inch sides, you're gonna, you're gonna take your scissors, cut in where the scoring line is, And then I'm gonna taper in this flap just a bit. I like to taper it because I feel like it hides some of the edges. And you just have nice clean edges that way. It's like a little slice of pizza out of it. And so you'll be left with this. I'm gonna go ahead and fold in my scoring lines here. We're gonna take some adhesive tape and place it on the tab, on this tab here, and on this smaller tab here. And we're gonna fold this tab back and adhere it, fold this tab back and adhere it, and this one back. Now we're gonna just go ahead and fold in our scoring lines, the rest. We've got this front part that's folded in. On this back end here, we're gonna go ahead and cut in on the scoring line to make a little flap and taper it in. Just like so and then again on this side. So you should be left with something that looks like this. You've got these tabs here, these sides and the front. On these tabs here, we're gonna fold them in and place some adhesive right along the scoring edge, the folded edge here on both sides. And then we're just gonna fold it up and in and close up our base here. So you should be left with a piece that looks like this. Since we have this out, I'm gonna go ahead and place just a couple pieces of adhesive along the inside. If you turn it and put it on its side, we're gonna wanna put a piece right up here, right along this back side here. And then one more on this side. And you wanna do it toward the upper edge here, not down toward the bottom. Now we're gonna take our box and on the indented edge here, we're gonna place it on the outside where the box is open and we're just gonna slide it right in here. And if you lay it on its side, you can stick your hand inside and just really press down on that adhesive to close up the base. And so there is our base. See, that's why I kind of wanted a matching um, patterned paper. Now we just need to close off the top. With the top, we're just gonna fold in our scoring lines. And it's much like the base, only there's no cutting and opening up spots. Well, there is a little bit of cutting because we gotta cut our flaps. Then we're gonna take our scissors and just cut in our corners, our flaps here to close up our box. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna fold in our flaps here, flaps, tabs. We're gonna place some adhesive on the crease, on the fold as close to it as we can get it, on all four tabs. And then just fold it, our tabs on to the inside here. Our lid is done. How cute is that? Lemons for lemon tea. And this goes right on top, just like so. And that just so stinking cute. I love this. And what's great about this is we can take our Dollar Tree tea bags and we can just go ahead and place them whichever way you want in your box, just like so. And I did this one to match the peppermint. And I had this box left over from the last tea DIY. And would you look at that? We fill up our box with tea bags. I even have one vanilla chai left because that one's really good. Put our lid on and would you look at that? You can easily pull out a tea bag. How fun is that? I love this. I think that this is just such a fun DIY and such a fun way to store your tea bags. And it was so easy and budget friendly to do. If you don't have a paper pack, it's gonna cost you 20 cents if you go to Hobby Lobby and pick up one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock in their open stock paper when this is all over. But if you've got scrapbooking paper, you can make endless amounts of these. To go along with this stinking cute DIY, of holding the tea bags. How fun is this? I love both of these DIYs. They are so fun, so easy to do. If you haven't seen the DIY for this tea bag holder, I will link it in the description box below. And the things that you can create with paper are just amazing. And the best part is it is such a versatile DIY because it can be done to suit any decor style. You just pick out what type of scrapbooking paper you like, the pattern. And I think I'll just add a couple of stickers to it since I already had these on hand from the last DIY. And the colors go perfect, so why not? I think one is enough. Now, how easy and how fun is that? So easy to do, and you can do this dispenser, you can do this tea bag holder as a gift set for somebody, and this tea bag holder would be perfect for somebody to put in their purse so when they're at work or they're out and about, if they want some tea, they can get into their handy little tea bag holder and pull out one of their favorite teas, and when they're at home, if they want a dispenser like this one, they can easily have their teas in a dispenser, and you can make multiple of them for different flavors, you could label them, endless possibilities and it really didn't take all that much time at all and very little paper and paper is so budget friendly you could do lots of it i hope you all enjoyed today's tea bag dispenser paper crafting diy that is a tongue twister please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to you guessed it 5,000 likes because like i always say each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy paper crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.